So, what were you thinking about when you woke up this morning? Were you thinking about how to reduce the effects of climate change? How to start up a new punk band? Or were you thinking, how in the hell did I ever get HIV? Say what? Insight, foresight, more sight. The clock on the wall reads a quarter past midnight. There is no cure for HIV. Available treatments make it possible to live a long and active life. But treatments aren't a cure. HIV was identified in 1981. Since then, approximately 25 million people worldwide have died from illnesses related to HIV AIDS. That's about 10 times the population of Montreal. One way to describe the immune system is to look at it like an organized group, such as an orchestra or a soccer team. When someone is infected with HIV, the virus looks first to take out the team captain, CD4 cells. Once the HIV virus injects itself into a CD4 cell, it begins to make thousands of copies of itself until the cell bursts. And remember, 30% of people living with HIV here in Quebec don't even know they have it. You have to sign this number to the consent form, and then you can go get the test done. A friend of mine told me, he heard on the news, there's a cure for HIV AIDS. So who is the most at risk? For contracting HIV AIDS. It's everyone who thinks that HIV can't happen to them. And that... Might be you. I need your love. I just wanna... Sex was first invented a long time ago, when two people who were probably quite hairy grunted at each other, and decided to get their groove on. Of course, this is just a theory. So unless you have a specific medical condition that makes you larger than my arm, a regular condom will fit. Come on, baby, I'm tired of talking. I will lose my erection. Ah, oh, but only for a couple of seconds. Be a man! Grab your coat and let's start walking. Come on, come on. 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 Don't procrastinate, don't articulate, girl. Thanks for hanging out with us.